Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 3, the A315 23 series model. I'll show you how to get inside, access your battery. I'll also give you the battery specs if you're looking for a replacement. So, first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. So, we're going to take off all the screws on our bottom case. You have these three along this edge, these three along the opposite edge, these two here these two here, and that one screw there. We're gonna take all those screws out. As a side point, guys, this right here is your battery reset pinhole. What you would do is you would press that with a paper clip or other sharp, small object. It would reset your battery. You'd let it sit for 30 seconds off, uh, and that can help if you're having trouble starting your computer or charging your battery. After the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the seam and pry up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. If you guys are watching me get in here, you'll notice this is actually very difficult for me to take off. I was concerned for a little while there that there was more screws, but there's not. I had to get my uh, larger pry tool out and I've really got to get it under there and then really crank it sideways to get this bottom case off. It does come off. You don't need to take out more screws, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Once you have your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Your battery is right here inside the computer. Uh, for those of you that need the battery information, this is an Acer model number AP16M5J. This is a 7.7 .7 volt battery, 37 watt hour. I will have that information below in the description if you want to search for your own battery replacement. Uh, however, I will also have a link above. Also below in the description, it'll give you a list of all the replacement parts for this computer as well as the tools and supplies that I use to get into it. So this battery is really easy to operate. As you can see, there's no additional screws in here. It's just plugged into the motherboard. So I'm gonna peel back this tape that's holding it to some inside components there. Just peel that back. There's some more black tape here that's over the actual battery plug. Be careful, but I'm gonna peel that back. Or actually, I'll just remove it. I'll just make sure to remember to put it back on after. And this battery plug is kind of nice because I don't have to pull on the wires. It's got a grip on either side. So I can use my pry tool or your fingernails and push on this side, push on this side, and that battery plug comes right out. So that's fairly easy to get that battery out. So that's how you would access the battery in the A31523 series model. If you have any questions, check out below in the description first the FAQs. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. And as one last side note, guys, keep in mind if your battery is not charging, if you're having power issues, it could be a battery issue and you may have to replace it, but it could also be another issue. It could be a driver issue, a charger issue. Um, if you want help troubleshooting and diagnosing why your battery's not charging, I'll have a video above, also below in the description. It'll help you troubleshoot why a battery's not charging and possibly help you solve it without having to replace your battery. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and share if it was, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.